and the waiting room for me to admit them. Okay, so um, when students come to Millsaps College, there's really this sense of belonging. Um, there's really a place for everyone here. And as we go through this presentation, I hope that you're able to see that. Let's see. Okay, so a little bit about Millsaps College. We were founded um, in 1890. Okay, so we've been around for a moment. Um, we are in Jackson, Mississippi. Okay, so Jackson, Mississippi is in the southeastern part of the United States. Um, and I'm going to show you a little, I'm going to show you a map later on so you can kind of see visually a little bit more about that. But um, it's a really great place to be. We really get all four seasons, right? So in Jackson, you're going to get the summer, the spring, the fall, the winter, which I really like because you get a little bit of everything. Um, and so our phrase here is ad excellentium, and that really just means that we are always striving for whatever we are doing, we're striving for excellence. And we are a member of colleges that change lives. So in the United States, there is a group of 42 colleges across the country um, that are in an organization called Colleges That Change Lives. And this is a process college has to go through. It's a very extensive application process. Um, and it is known for pouring into their students, right? So these are colleges that if you come here, you're not just a number in the crowd. Um, do people know your name? You're, you're not just a number in the crowd. Um, let's see. Oh, sorry. I just saw um, some messages. Yeah. So you can ask if you have messages, you can put it in the chat as well. Um, so yeah, we will really work on pouring into our students um, and giving you that holistic education. Um, we are a private Methodist liberal arts college, okay? So um, it is Methodist, but we have all types of religions here and we accept everyone. Um, so we have um, all religions. We have, you know, all also like we don't even have, um, you don't have to be religious to come here as well. So if you are, that's great. If you're not, that's fine as well. Okay, so here is a map where you can see a little bit more of where within the United States Jackson is. Okay, so here in purple is where we are. So I was saying we're kind of in the southeastern corner. Um, and this is Jackson um, within the state. Okay, so here's Jackson and you are in Central. Um, I will say being in Jackson is a good place to be because you're very local to um, lots of great things. So it's known as the city with soul. Um, so the food is great, the music is great. Um, there's always something on. And one thing I really love is, so right above us is Tennessee. You're really close to Nashville. It's a very popular place for people to go hang out. Um, you're close to Birmingham, Alabama, which is another place people really go hang out. Um, so that's to the right of Mississippi. Um, down here, we have Louisiana, there's New Orleans, that's another really popular place. And I'm sure you guys, this is Texas, um, huge, so we're to Texas, Texas as well. Um, so lots of good um, places to be within just a couple of hours from Jackson. Okay, so I was saying that we are a liberal arts college, and so let's talk a little bit about what that means. Does anyone already have sort of what an idea of what a liberal arts education is? Um, I kind of do, ma'am. Is it about that we can pursue a couple of majors and minors? Like together we can do a double major. Did you say, can you do a double major? Yes, ma'am. Yes, absolutely. So we have students that are doing double majors all the time. Um, we really let students create their own path here. So when you come here, we really focus on giving our students a personalized education, okay? So if you wanna study something um, and you don't, we're gonna talk about our majors and minors in a moment that we have, but if you come to Millsaps and you know you wanna study something you don't see as a major, we have a create your own major option. So we don't want our students to be put in a box. You're able to create your own major. Um, and so we have, um, well, we can go through this in just a sec, but we have accounting, we have business, we have engineering, or we have pre-engineering, um, we have biology, all the 
practices. So we really have a wide variety of um, options for students, but we also have the, hi, I think someone just joined. Welcome. Hello. Um, it's me, Abhishek. Uh, I'm already here. My camera was not working, but it is fine now. So I'm here. Oh, okay. Yay! <laughs> Glad you got it working. Um, okay, so a liberal arts college, they are usually known for being smaller schools. Um, most private schools focus on arts, humanities, and natural science and social sciences. So here at Millsaps College, let's say that you want to study science, okay? You're also going to be taking classes um, in the arts, okay? So you're going to be able to choose, but you're going to take theater, music, really want students that leave Millsaps to be well-rounded, okay? Um, students are really encouraged to take classes outside of their chosen major because we really want you to become well-rounded, informed, global citizens when you leave Millsaps, okay? Um, nearly all liberal arts colleges have under 5,000 students, most have under 1,500. Um, so once I saw that in the um, the chats, someone said, what's the teacher's ratio? Average class size is 14 students, okay? And our ratio is not, okay? So the race, the student um, teacher ratio is nine one. So we really make sure that all the students, um, you know, in smaller class size, you really get to know your professors. And knowing your professor when you're um, is a really, really big deal. Um, they know your name, they can speak to um, who you are, they can help set you up with internships you with all kinds of things. And so knowing your professors and then knowing you is a really big advantage um, that you leave Millsaps having, right? And those connections are so Let's see. Yes, you <laughs> yeah, so your professors, you get really comfortable with your professors. <laughs> Let's see where we go. Okay, so I kind of talked about our academics. The average class size is 10. I said it was 14. So really when you come in, your freshman classes are gonna be um, usually like 20 or so because um, those are gonna be a little bit larger. But as you get into your niche classes for what your major is gonna be, that's when your classes get even smaller, right? Um, and so here they really look out for you. So if you, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, if you like skip class for like a week, your professors notice, right? Because there's not a huge lecture hall of people. They're like, wait a minute, where's Hannah, right? <laughs> so they're gonna really look out for you and they're gonna check in on you. Um, you're gonna have that relationship with your professors, right? So um, they're gonna be looking out for you and making sure that you're really plugged in. Um, and one of the things too that I love is, you said good for nerds like us. <laughs> yes, the professors have relationships with their students. Um, they always have open office hours, so they love to have students come to their office. Um, and that's really one of the things that I love because it's if you're struggling or if you want to be challenged more, like your professors are just always there for you, um, no matter what it is. So let's talk a little bit a little bit more about the academics piece. Um, as someone said in the chat for nerds like us, I love that. <laughs> um, so our faculty, 95% of the professors here are at are at the top of their field. They have PhDs, they're doctors. So um, they really know exactly what they're talking about at Millsap. So we want you to be taught by the expert in your field, right? Um, so they really know what they're talking about. There are no teaching assistants. So you're not gonna be taught by someone who, you're not gonna ta be taught by anyone but the professor, right? When you come into class, your professor's not going to be an allowed doing research. They're going to be there with you, right? Um, and they do have that open door policy. Um, speaking of research, one thing I want to say to you is, um, is anybody interested in doing research? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I see a couple of people saying, yeah. Um, so one thing about Mill apps too is with the smaller class sizes in the smaller school setting you are able to get into a research lab like freshman year right 
the spring of your freshman year, you're able to get into a research lab. In those cases. Um, a lot of times at a larger school, you have to wait for the upperclassmen to kind of get first um, dibs on these research labs. But here at Millsaps, we like for our students to be plugged in as soon as they can. Okay. So if research is something that you are interested in, um, this is a really great place for you because you're going to be able to get plugged in very quickly. Um, so talking about our areas of study, we have two majors and 42 minors. We have four pre-professional programs. So we have pre-med, pre-engineering, pre-law, pre-health is, you know, so if you wanted to go, pre-health is a pretty broad umbrella, right? So that would be like, if you're wanting to go into dentistry, medical school, um, nursing, whatever that may be. Um, we do have five pathway programs. So here, when you come to Millsaps as a freshman, you will take something called a pathways course. Um, and this is sort of that freshman course where you really are able to explore all the pathways that you can take in college, right? So if you're thinking business, that's a pathway that you can take. Um, if you are thinking the science, or STEM, that's a pathway that you can take. Um, so that's really just one of those courses that helps you understand all the opportunities that are out there for you. Um, and you kind of get to learn all about them so that you can make a decision as far as moving forward, which pathway you want to take. Um, we do have some master's programs here. So is anyone interested in doing business or accounting or anything yeah, like that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Definitely. Yes, ma'am. Yes, awesome. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I feel like someone said accounting. Um, so here we do have a um, school of business um, and you can get it's called the else schoolworks. Um, you can get your master's in one extra year um, here. So usually to get your bachelor's, it's four. Right. And then to get your master's, it would take two. So here we have um, the school of business so you can get your master's in accounting, your um, master's of business in just one extra year. Um, here we have the Compass curriculum too, which, um, let me see, here we go. You guys can see this down here. So there are four outcomes and this is no matter what kind of study you're going to do, no matter what major you're interested in, there are four outcomes that you're going to see kind of woven through um, all of the classes that you take. Okay, so thinking and reasoning, communication, integrative and collaborative learning, and problem solving and problem solving in practice. So these are four outcomes that no matter what your major is here, whether you're a science person or um, a business person or an arts person, you're going to have these four um, skills when you leave Millsaps College. Okay. Um, so let's talk about the major experience right here on the right, right side of my screen. So at Millsaps, we have something called the major experience. It is something that all students do before they leave. Okay, so you have to do one of these four things. That's the major experience before you graduate. So studying abroad is really popular here. We have one of the top study programs in the country. Um, we actually have a country, we have a campus in Mexico. Um, in the Yucatan. So when students go there, we call it Casa Millsaps because we own where we have um, a place for students to stay. So studying abroad um, is a really popular one that we have. We have students going all over the world um, and it doesn't matter what you're studying. Like if you wanna study abroad, you're able to do that um, and there's funding for that available as well. So we make sure that students are able to do that without having to pay a ton out of pocket, right? Um, you can do an internship. That's a really popular one. Um, and one thing too, I want to point out is that you can do more than one of these things. You can do, you can study abroad, but then also do an internship later. So you don't have to pick just one, but you do have to do at least one, right? Because like I said earlier at, earlier at Millsaps, we want you to leave having a well-rounded education so that you're really marketable, um, and you're very well-rounded wherever it is that you go, right? Um, you have the research piece, which we spoke to earlier. So you're able to get plugged into research very early on and then community engaged learning. So if you want to do community service and get plugged into the Jackson community. Okay. Um, let's see, let me read. I got some things. Can we take totally opposite courses? Yes. So that is one of the things that Millsaps that we like for students to be able to 
um, do you have one of the liberal arts pieces, right? So if you're taking, let's say you're taking biology, we love for students, they're also going to take theater. Or if you're taking, you can also take a business class. Um, we want our students to be able to do whatever, follow their own interests, right? Okay, so that's the personalized education piece. So you're able to pick out so the science and art. This is going to be a great place for you because we want students to pursue what they're interested in. Okay, does that make sense? Um, so here at Millsaps, there is a resource for everything and anything that a student may need. Okay, so your advising system, professors are actually your advisors. Okay, so if you are a student in accounting, you're going to have an accounting professor that is advising you, okay? So they're gonna know exactly what classes you need to take. They're gonna be able to help you figure out if you should do an internship. Um, they're gonna be able to really connect you in that way. Um, we have a writing center on campus. So here um, at Millstaps, we really like for our students to um, become strong writers and great communicators. Okay, so we have a writing center um, to help students. Um, we also have CASE. That is just where you can go if you're, let's say you're taking a chemistry class and you need a little bit of support, you can go to CASE and they're going to help you out. Okay, so it's like a help center. Um, so you've got that. Um, we also have a student health center on campus. So let's say you're sick or you need a prescription, um, you have that on campus so you don't have to go off campus for those resources. Um, we have counseling here. Um, let's see what else. If you have any questions about specific resources, but basically anything that a student may need, we've got for you, right? Let's see. A creative, a creative writing portfolio. Yes, that's awesome. Okay, so talking some more about our study abroad programs, I just wanted to point out a couple that were really cool. Um, so we had some students recently go to Taiwan. Um, these were students that were in a music course. We had students recently go to England. Okay, they were in international management, like a business course. Um, we recently had students go to Tanzania. Um, that was in a heritage, identity, and politics of travel course. Uh, and then we also had some students that were in psychology recently go to England. So it doesn't really have to be your major, right? You can be taking this one random course and do a study abroad opportunity with that. All right, so the student life. Let's talk about what your experience as a student will be here. You, like I was saying earlier, there are student life resources for you. Um, and there's resources for whatever you may need as a student, right? So we have the Career Center, um, which is one of my favorite resources. So um, have you guys heard of LinkedIn um, and all those sites that you, yeah. So that is um, where you'll go if you wanna get like your headshot. Um, so you can have like a professional picture done. They connect you with um, internships. They help you prepare for interviews. They'll give you like mock interviews and stuff. Um, so that is where you'll go for like all things career. Um, I have, oh, you said I follow you guys on LinkedIn. I love that. Um, the dorm life, the hype. The <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that. So our organizations in Greek life. So we have 50 plus organizations on campus. So there really is that um, student life piece. You're really plugged in. Okay, so oh, wait, let me admit someone to go in. Um, so if any of you guys are interested in joining a sorority or a fraternity, we have those. Um, and we have so many organizations and it says 50 plus because if you come to Millsaps and there's an organization that you want to join and you realize, oh, they don't have that organization, you're able to create that own, you're able to go ahead and create your own organization or your own club. Um, so you're not really like limited to what you can do. Um, and so for the housing, so 90% of our students live on campus. So most choose to live on campus at Millsaps um, just because you're in such a great area. The campus is so beautiful. The dorms are really nice. Um, you have the traditional style dorms where you can have two people in a room sharing. Um, we have an apartment style, suite style. Um, and one thing that I love um, about living on campus is you get free parking. 
you get free laundry <laughs> and free printing. Um, and a lot of the dorms have kitchens as well. Um, yes, living on campus, someone messaged me and said that would be really, yeah. Um, and also international students during um, like, let's say winter break, um, spring break, that kind of thing, you guys are able to stay on campus. You don't have to like find somewhere to stay um, during that time. Um, and so I was saying earlier, 90% of our students live on campus. So I'm gonna pause real quick and show you guys a video. Um, one of our students that is currently here, her she's from India and she is a student studying accounting, I believe. Um, and she was a Next Genius Scholar or she is here from Next Genius. Um, let's see, someone messaged me and said, living on campus, is it? Yeah, so if you come here, you're able to live on campus for all four years um, with your scholarship, you guys would be able to do that for sure. Yeah. Um, but if you wanted to live off campus, that would be something that we could discuss. Um, I've heard about Greek life. Let's see. So someone messaged me about Greek life. Um, so if you join a sorority or fraternity, that is really just sort of, so if you join a sorority, it's sisterhood. If you join a fraternity, it's brotherhood. It's a group of people that you become really close to. Um, it's an organization sort of that you are able to become a part of. Um, so I'll just go to... YouTube to show you guys this video um, and hopefully it will, you guys will be able to see that. Let me see here. Okay. I'm going to start this video. If you guys can't hear it when I start it, will you just stop me or like say it in the chat? Okay, awesome. Here we go. You don't hear that? Um, excuse me, ma'am. I think, um, ma'am, I think we're not able to properly hear that. The audio is not clear. Y'all can't hear it. No, ma'am. Actually, the audio is not clear. Oh no, okay. It may just be that it's not, let's see. I wonder, could I send it to you guys? I may send it to you all. Um, so are all of you guys on the WhatsApp group? Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I think I might just send you, yeah, I think I'm gonna send you the link to it because um, I have to join that group, but would y'all be okay with me sending it to you that way? Yes. I'll just send you the link. Um, you also can just, if you go to YouTube, it's Millsaps in a minute with Anu. Um, but she is a accounting major here from India. She is a next gen student. She's incredible. She's also a presidential ambassador here. Um, and so she works in our office of admission. Um, so she really helps students. Let me go back to my PowerPoint. She gives tours and stuff like that on campus. Um, all right, so here we go. Let's talk about the athletics piece here at Millsaps. Um, we are, let me see. We are a D3 school. So that means that we are division three. So we have all of the athletics. We have football, tennis, basketball, baseball, basically any type of sport that you can think about, we've got it. Um, we love sports here. Student life, so um, we have just all kinds of things going on. We have the South, um, let's see, we have the Pan-African Student Alliance. We have um, we have a Diwali every year. Um, you can see all kinds of things here. We have the Color Run. Um, we have the South Asian Cultural Association. Um, so we really have a very diverse campus. And so we really want all students to be plugged in. Um, let's see, it's like an transition. Yes, to answer that question um, in the chat, yes. Let's see, so someone in the chat said, does Mill support struggling academics with athletics? 
Absolutely. So Millsaps, like I was saying earlier, they really want you to excel in all areas. Okay. So if you're an athlete and you're also, or if you're coming for, you know, obviously you're here to be a student, right? But if you also want to do athletics, we want you to be able to be great at both. Um, so a lot of times at school, you have to choose, right? If you want to be a really good student, really good athlete, but here at Millsaps, we really let our students become great at both, right? There is soccer, Alan. Yeah, there is soccer. Um, and if you're interested in meeting um, our soccer coach, I can set up a Zoom call with you as well. Um, so we definitely have those things um, um, here. And we really love students to be plugged in in those ways, because like I was saying, we really want our students um, to be well-rounded. So um, you want to talk. OK, I'm going to make a note of that, that you want to um, talk with soccer. Um, let's see here. So one thing I want to point out to you guys about Millsaps is we have the highest alumni salary in Mississippi. Um, so students that leave Mississippi are, I mean, that leave Millsaps College are very successful. Um, and one thing too is um, people in the United States, well, really anywhere, they know about the kind of education that you get at Millsaps, right? Like it's a prestigious institution. So if you are applying for a job or an internship and they hear that you were a graduate from Millsaps College, that's going to carry a lot of weight, right? Um, because we are a member of colleges that change lives. We pour into our students. Um, we give you so many opportunities um, for growth here. Um, and so that's a big deal. Um, so 95% of our graduates are employed or enrolled, I mean, enrolled in a post-grad post program in six months. Um, I know last year our medical school acceptance rate was 100%. Um, so our students are very successful wherever they go. Um, we were recognized in Forbes magazine as the best school in Mississippi. So we have um, lots of accolades, right? Um, we do have 20 Fulbright scholars, seven Rhodes scholars, two Truman scholars, and one Goldwater scholar. Um, so those are very competitive um, on the global level. Um, and we have mentors if you're interested in applying for those. Um, so I know that you guys know about how the process works um, as far as applying next. Um, so I know that you guys in December are spending some time working on your common app. Um, you do have the option to submit test scores or not here. Um, and then y'all will find out, you guys will find out in January um, and we'll have the interview process. Um, one thing that you just have to keep in mind um, is you guys all would have the English proficiency test waived. Um, let's see here. And then we do have the international student application webpage. I'm just going to show you. So when you go to Millsap's website, um, you will see that we have an international student section and you um, will be able to see that there are lots of resources there for you, okay? Is the SAT or ILA test needed? So the SAT is helpful, um, but it is not absolutely necessary because we are a test optional school. So let's say you don't want to submit test scores. You do not have to. Um, you are able to just submit um, if you don't want to submit your test scores, you are able to give us instead a, um, instead you're able to give us a letter of recommendation and an essay, and that will take the place of a test score instead.